development of players. So starts with players, then it starts with player development. That's where we put most of our time, money, and resources um, is in recruiting and development. So number one, I think you've got to have great mental clarity and great spirituality um, to be a good player. All right. I think this is more of the mental set over the skill set. Obviously, skill set's important, but what drives you, what your why is, uh, what's your purpose? Um, you know, some of the best players on our team, the best players I've ever been around have great purpose. They understand what football does for them. Um, you know, we try to develop our football IQ in the offseason. You know, I think this is one of the most underrated parts of evaluating recruits. You know, I got a few buddies that coach in the NFL and, you know, ask them what the big difference is. And they're like, coach, we don't have any dumb people here. If you're dumb, you're not going to make it. Um, and we have got to put a priority on this um, when we're building our systems, when we're recruiting. Uh, what can a player, um, I guess, digest and be able to process in his style of learning? Uh, we, we try to do things in the summer, like we have eight OTAs in July, and each OTA has a lesson plan with it where we're showing them concepts, we're, we're, we're giving them tests, we're, we're get doing situational IQs uh, as far as situational football goes. Um, and, and I think, you know, you can't win, or I'm sorry, you can't win enough game. You'll have plenty of, plenty of wins out there if you recruit smart football players, guys that are football smart and have a burning desire um, to learn ball and, and kind of have a purpose outside of football. I, I tell guys in the recruiting process, if football were to be taken away today, would you still be happy here? I think that's important to have a why outside of football, but also be able to process information. So the development of the mental, of mental piece is really big for us. Uh, and then socially, um, number one thing I do every semester is, is uh, we write a letter, a handwritten letter to the high school coach um, or a coach on staff and a family member uh, I want all of our players to understand that they didn't get here by themselves. And um, just a th thank you note, handwritten note to, uh, I got this from a guy I work for. You, you write that to your high school coach and then to a family member every semester to thank them uh, for getting them where you got. Second thing we do every semester is we sign a contract. So I don't, I tell our team, I don't have very many team rules, um, but don't, don't break them. And then you got to follow through with, with the consequences. So I've got a contract literally that every player signs and I keep in a folder. And then if anything happens, I can just pull it out and say, Hey, listen, you signed this contract and you broke this rule. Here was the consequences. Here's what you're doing. Um, so give them the expectations first. Don't just say, uh, Hey, don't, don't do this. And then they do it. And then they don't know what the, the, the consequences are. So that contract needs to have consequences on there as well. Um, Career planning, uh, we try to help our guys with that. It's a little bit tough at this level. We've got very few staff members, but um, we do try to do that in, towards the lighter end of our program. Uh, personal branding, I think, is huge in this day and age. Your, your socials and, and the way you, uh, I guess, compose yourself is, is on a daily basis is your personal brand. I had a coach tell me one time, every day is a job interview. And that's very true for coaches because every coach you work with is looking at you every day. And um, I think goes for the same for the players. If you teach them the same way, every day of your life's a job interview. You have no idea who you're going to come in contact with. So you better be on your P's and Q's. You better have your personal branding on, on the internet where you want it. And then in the NIL day and age, um, plays an impact in that too. Uh, physical, um, you know, the weight room is the single most important thing we do. I think details, details, details are the key um, to have a great physical training program. Um, you know, hands behind the line, touching it with the right, correct hand, um, you know, being on time, being where you're supposed to be dressed properly. If we say white socks, we mean white socks, you know, um, you know, the weight room, the strength coach is probably the most important person you hire anytime you get a job. I love the guy we have. He does a phenomenal job for us. Uh, the, the weight room has a lot to do with the mental makeup uh, because of the physical strain you're putting on your body for weeks at a time. Uh, it's got to mirror your systems. All right. I'm a big believer in this. If you're going to be Iowa and you're going to line up in uh, four down over under and play quarters and, and snap it 55 times a game and 21 personnel power. O and, and ISO your program needs to mirror that. If you're going to be more like us where we're, we're a little bit more spread out up tempo, changing tempos, basketball on grass sort of style, and your team's going to play more plays and, and play at a, higher speed, your, your programs uh, need to mirror that in the weight room. So it's got to mirror the way you want to play. 
Uh, you got to train the way you want to play on Saturdays. And then uh, movement's important, power's important, speed's important, coordination's important. Um, and then one thing we ask our guys all the time, everybody in the country is doing the same things, okay? Everybody's got a mat drill. Everybody's got a strength period. Everybody's got a conditioning period. Everybody goes through training camp. Everybody does spring practice. Everybody does uh, the fall season. So how are you doing more than – your conference opponents or how are you doing more than the people on your schedule? Um, are you doing more than that's than what's required? Um, everyone wants to win on Saturdays. Very few people want to win in February and, and know what it takes. So that's a big coaching point for us. 